Hey folks, uh, Friday, July 19th, second video on retrospect after looking at gold. Uh, let's do some analysis here. We've got, uh, you know, the, the trade price is 1.33. And so it's going for 2.32. That's about a 75, 80% return right there. Okay, so this, uh, even if we want to keep the trade, we, we need to protect this because uh, over the weekend, first of all, there'll be some time decay. Secondly, uh, if, if uh, gold just goes down a little bit today uh, or Monday, then, uh, you, know, why, uh, you know, why take that chance? Because we've got a good profit. So although I want to remain in the trade, I do want to protect this. So now if you go and look at the options for gold, this is very interesting. And this is what made me do this second uh, this video again. Uh, if you look at the volatilities of gold, uh, you can see it's 21 and that's because it's expiring today. Uh, the second one is 17 and then there is 20 and then it falls off again. So obviously this is the series that is impacted by the Fed announcement, I would assume. And so if that's the case, the, the volatility is elevated there. And over here, you can see you, we can go up to the 139 level. So our long call is at 137. Remember, we can go up to the 139 level and still get our 1.33 or close to it, which is what we have paid for the long option right here. We paid 1.33 and we are getting 1.3, let's say. So which means it makes this almost a free trade and the 137 is going to benefit. So if gold is going to go up, you know, before this 139 is, is threatened, uh, we have a long call at 137. So this is going to do very well. So and the way to understand it is you look at the risk profile and that's what it is. Because we, we are only paying two cents or whatever, uh, this is going to be our max loss. And then uh, uh, here actually it's saying four cents. So that's why you see a $40 uh, loss here. But everything else is upside from here. So we have a chance of gold doing even close to $2,500 profit or even 2000. So this is what I want to do. Uh, on the negative side, you know, our, our loss is minimal. I mean, you know, there's nothing. And so uh, what I want to do is I want to go into the 2nd August, sell the 139 call and make our long call almost free. So this is something that we will do on Friday as well as you know, along with IBM and uh, some of the other adjustments that uh, I discussed in the earlier video. Thank you.